Hello and welcome to Godorific. In this video, we are going to see how we can create optical flow maps for each frame in video. And to do that, we are going to use OpenCV library in Python. Optical flow is the pattern of apparent motion of image objects between two consecutive frames. And the motion of image objects are caused by the movement of object or camera. It is a 2D vector field where each vector is a displacement vector showing the movement of points from first frame to the second and in this video as an input we are going to use a video where a single fish is moving around under the seabed and we are going to extract optical flow for each of the frame inside this video so for example as you can see it shows us the movement of fish from one frame to another and the black and the white pixels show the displacement vector if the pixel is white it means that the object is near to the camera and the black objects are far from the camera so let's start programming so as you can see i am back to my spider editor of python and i have already imported importer libraries that i am going to use in this program one of which is operating system os library that i will use to read and write directories another one is opencv library uh, this is the main library that i'm going to use in this program to create optical flow maps numpy to append an array and uh, another important library that i'm going to use is skvideo.io in my previous videos i have explained how we can use this library to read and write dot before video if you haven't watched that i prefer to watch those videos before so the name of my input video is uh, this one and uh, to merge and create a complete path including the name of video i have concatenated these two strings the video path and the video name next i have created an output directory where i will be saving my optical flow maps for each frame as you can see in my file explorer next using the skvideo.io library i am going to call we read function and pass complete path to my input video and this function will generate a complete resolution of the video which will include total number of frames and resolution of each frame so i'm going to run this program written so far so you can see i have printed the new name and the video shape so in my ipython console you can see that the total number of frames in this input video is 240 and each frame resolution is 540 by 960 and this input video is three color channel which is rgb next i am going to create optical flow over 240 frames so first i am going to create an empty image of uh, the same dimension as the input frame remember that in this program the optical flow will be generated between two frames in grayscale format and the result will be saved in color format and here i have created an empty array that is initially filled with zeros is actually the output image which will carry the computed optical flow map next i am going to create three channel frame into grayscale and to do that i have used cvt color function of opencv and this function takes two parameters the first parameter is the frame and here i have indexed the first frame using frame index variable and the second parameter is the color format that i am going to convert this image into so outside the loop this first frame will become my previous frame next i am going to run a loop over total number of frames that is 240 and to iterate the loop i have created a range over total length of video gem variable first i want to print the information to see that which frame is being processed through iteration by iteration next i'm going to create each frame from rgb to gray scale image remember that as i told you that optical flow map is computed between two frames in the format of gray scale image and to do that again i have used the cvt color function of opencv where the first parameter is indexing of uh, frames and the second parameter is the color channel that i'm going to convert this image into and up to this line i am going to create optical flow map between my this next frame and the previous frame of grayscale sometimes it happens that uh, 
the dimension of previous and next frames do not synchronize with each other to avoid such confusion i'm going to resize my next frame based on the previous frame first i am going to preserve the dimension of my previous frame so by picking up the shape one which means that i am going to take its width first and then its height and save this dimension inside variable dim and based on this dim dimension i am going to resize my next frame and replace the old dimension with the new one now that i have prepared my next and previous frames in the required color format and the dimension next i am going to compute the optical flow map by finding back method i have placed a link to this method inside my description box if you want to read more about finding back method you can check that link I have called calc optical flow finding back function of OpenCV and uh, besides the first and second parameter which are previous and the next frames I have kept rest of the parameters same as mentioned in the OpenCV page of this method so this method will basically generate a 2d vector of size input frame so in this line we have computed the optical flow vectors and to print this map as an image i'm going to compute the magnitude and angle from this 2d vector and to compute the magnitude and angle out of my 2d vector flow i have called cart to polar function of opencv so inside my program the flow dimension will be something like this height width and the total dimension so by indexing out of flow using this technique i am going to keep the 540 and 960 as it is but out of two dimensions here as a first parameter to card to polar i am going to pass first dimension and the second parameter i am going to pass as the second dimension of 2d vector of flow and this function will wait on two types of values and to hold those values i have created two variables the first variable will represent the magnitude so i have specified its name as mag and the second parameter will be the angular information that's why the second variable i have used ang now that i have magnitude and angular information next i am going to set my blank image which is uh, actually a hue image that i created outside the loop first and uh, it is inside the variable hsv and i will change its pixel values based on the angular information that represent the optical flow direction to do that i have multiplied the angular information by 190 and divided by pi function of num v and the entire block is again divided by 2 and i am going to replace this information inside the first dimension of new image next to compute the intensities of my new image which is hsv i am going to play with the magnitude which represent the the magnitude of the optical flow information and to do that i have called normalize function of open cv and passed mag information as first parameter and uh, as a threshold i have kept the minimum and the maximum values of intensities 0 and 255 and these intensities will be replaced inside the third dimension of hsv image now that we have successfully replaced our angular magnitude information of optical flow maps inside our new image next we are going to convert this hue format image into bgr using the same function cvt color of the open cv function bgr is our new image now next we are going to write this bgr optical flow map as grayscale image and to do that i am going to create first the name of my output optical flow map in this case i am going to use the number of frame as the name of my output optical flow map and uh, i have concatenated the string format of uh, integer index with the output path and uh, enclosed it with the final string which is the format of image and here i have used dot png format of my output image next using the i am write function of open cv i am going to write this image and the first parameter here is the complete path including the name of my output image and uh, the second parameter is the array of image now here is the trick at the end of uh, iteration right before loop jumps to another iteration when index jumps from 0 to 1 the next frame become my previous 
frame i'm going to run my complete program here you can see in my ipython console that uh, that the loop has uh, started its iteration so total number of iterations will be 240 and the last frame starting from 0 will be 239 so finally the loop has ended iteration and uh, it has completed writing the optic flow maps for each frame inside my output path which is opt folder before i show you the optical flow maps let me show you first my input video it is a video about a single fish moving inside the water and now let me show you the computed optical flow map for this video you can see here that the first frame is blank because the first frame does not show any movement therefore the optical flow between the first frame and the first frame is blank but the optical flow map between the first frame and the second frame is shown in the grayscale image so if i scroll through each optical flow map you can analyze it that the motion vectors are different in each optical flow that represent the movement of objects now i do not only want to compute the optical flow maps and write these optical flow maps as uh, images i want to create another video using these optical flow maps yes of course we can do that using the same library of skvideo.io first outside the loop i am going to create a black array which will hold my my optical flow maps as an appended array and to fill this array right after computing the final optical flow map i am going to append it so outside the loop most of the appended arrays are in the format of list and to convert those list as a numpy object of array i am going to call as array function of numpy and replace it with my old array and to write my output video first i am going to prepare name of my output and to do that i am going to use the complete path of my output and concatenate it with the video name dot split dot mp4 so here so for example if i print this here and if i print video name dot split dot mp4 you can see in console that the complete name of my video includes the extension but by splitting it i am going to extract the strings based on dot mp4 split and out of this split array and out of these splits i am going to use only the first element of it and then concatenate this first element with the rest of the complete name of my output video which is underscore optic enclosed with dot mp4 format of video and if i print ov name you can see that output video name will be like this including the complete path of it next using the skvideo.io library i am going to call vwrite function where the first parameter is the name of output video including its complete path and the second parameter is the video array i have completed writing the code now i am going to run it you can see that loop has started iterating through each frame now so the program has finished running next i am going to show output video of optical flow map and my output video should be inside the output folder you can see that this video is saved i'm going to run this video and voila this is it for this video thank you for watching i hope you find it helpful if you did do like and share also subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video if you have any suggestions leave them in comments section i will do consider it thank you